Hey guys, this is Nicolette. Today I've got a really fun cello training for you. So I've spoken about ways to have like certain tasks stand out and we've assigned labels or dates to them or maybe we would type them out in capitals. So what are more ways that we could format our cards and our descriptions and our to-do lists so that they stand out a bit more and also what are ways that we could maybe clean up descriptions so that they're a bit shorter. I wanted to share today just a few ways that we could format our text inside of Trello and I'm just going to share um, some of my favorites because it can be a little bit overwhelming so I'm just going to share the ones that I think you will find the most useful. Create a card and we'll call it, call it Trello formatting and then inside I'm going to start adding a description. Now, if you want to add italics what you would do is you would press star your word and star again and to have a word be bold what we would do is we would have two stars bold and two more stars. So what Trello does is Trello uses a, a, a language called markdown or a version of markdown. And so what we could do is we can basically take this code or this language and use it to our advantage just to format our text and our descriptions better inside of Trello. So let's see what we've done now is we've added a star on both ends and two stars. And then when I save that, you'll see that it is italics and bold. So that's one of the easiest ones and also one of the ones that, that I think we'll use the most. So the next one is headers. Over here I have this description and what I want to do is to have it pop more. So what I'll do is I will hit enter and I'll put in three hyphens or dashes um, and then I'll hit save. And as you can see, it's made that a header. It's made it bigger and bolder and so it pops really nicely. And what you do is if you wanted to create a horizontal line, what you would do is you would hit enter twice and do the same thing. So there you can see is her horizontal line and obviously you can combine the two. So big header and horizontal line. That one is really fun to use as well. And I just want to show you really quick. You can also use the bold and italics in a checklist. Another way to create headers or maybe more of a hierarchy is to add hashtags in front of your word. So let's go header one, header two, and header three. And then what I'm going to do is put a hashtag in front of header one, put two hashtags in front of header, header two, and three hashtags in front of header three. And then I'm gonna hit save and as you can see, it creates a hierarchy. This doesn't work inside of a checklist or in the comments. So the best way to have things stand out inside of your checklist is just to use the bold and italics. Okay, so we've gone through options for creating a header, creating a horizontal line, how to format it for italics and bold, and how to create those three different types of header options. And then one more that I think is really handy is making a link shorter. So what you would do is, so say for instance, I have here Trello tip, and what I wanted to do is to also add the link of where I want to add my Trello tip. So we're going to add this in our Think Creative Collective Facebook group, and I add the link right in there. So what I think is really useful is what you do is you use, now I always get parentheses and brackets confused. So what I do is I put parentheses in the front. I think this is parentheses and then commas. I put the URL, the link in commas. So these, and then what happens is it says Trello tip here and it takes me right to where I want it to be. So Again, what you need to do, and, and you can change this too, so you can have maybe FB group. So it's basically the name, and because you're putting the URL in brackets, it will then hide that and group it underneath the word that you're putting it in here. So that's really handy. I think it cleans it up much nicer. 
And so this, what I'm going to do now is I've had all these links in my descriptions go into these and I can just make these a whole lot shorter. So brackets and your word in the front. So what I've done for you is I have divided the training into three steps, formatting, headers, and links. And what you can do is you can copy and paste this into a Trello formatting card for yourself. So I'm going to include a link to a Google Doc. And right over here in the Google Doc, I have an image of what it looks like um, in Trello. And what you will do is you will just come inside here and you will copy all of this and you will go into Trello and you'll just copy and paste it right in there and you'll hit save and then it looks exactly the same as mine and if you wanted to you could maybe give it a label so that it stands out and it catches your attention and what I've included right below if you find all of this really interesting and you want to learn more see more formatting tips and it's going to take you to even more ways to format your text in Trello. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really curious to hear if you've tried formatting your text in Trello. If you're curious to try it, um, let's talk about it more in the comments below. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask it in the Think Creative Collective group. Tag me or tag Emily and Abigail so that we know uh, what questions you have when it comes to Trello. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.